Hey guys, I hope you're all doing really well. So this week I am going to be doing a M&S haul, which sounds very weird to say because I don't think I've ever done an M&S haul. But M&S is actually one of the shops that I can spend so long just walking around, looking at everything, being surprised by how much stuff I actually like. They have a great homeware section, a great lingerie section, a great just general clothing section and surprisingly nice shoes. So thought it was about time did an M&S haul. So I've ordered a mixture of homeware and clothing items, some of which I saw in store the other day and decided that I did maybe want them or maybe want to try them out again. I'm gonna get started and I'm gonna start with homeware stuff first because I haven't bought homeware items in a long time and I'm very excited to show them to you. So I picked up two of these cushions that look like this, they're sort of quilted at the front and then they have this amazing scallop detailing all around them and I am such a sucker for a scallop trim. This also kind of matches the quilt I have on my bed so I was very excited to see this and they were £30 each which is quite expensive but it's actually not too bad for a pillow that comes with a good insert. Really, really love this and I bought two of these so I think I'm going to put them on my bed. Might even put them there now. Oh, sorry spot. Next up from the homeware section I picked up this really gorgeous washed quilted throw that's also got ruffles somewhere on the trim but I haven't opened this up yet to look at it. Um, this was £50. It's a super soft washed quilted throw and you can also put it in the machine to wash it and tumble dry which it's good seeing a spot sleeps on my bed for most of the day and sometimes spot throws up on my bed which is lovely um so all the throws i have need to be like able to be washed so very glad that this is and it doesn't feel as though you'd be able to wash it but yeah love this so much and it goes perfectly with the pillows that i already have on my bed. They also do this in a grey, like a light grey, so I'll link this down below for you guys if you're interested. And then this final piece of homeware that I picked up, not too sure what was going through my mind when I put this in my basket, but it is this plant. <laughs> it's a fake plant and it's got these pink pom-poms at the top and I think I just really liked the pink pom-poms because they're pink pom-poms. Oh, one of those things just went up my nose. It's got this sort of cement base. Um, it's not really real cement, I don't think. Um, and this is £25, which isn't bad for a fake plant, but I think I'm going to take this back because I don't really like it that much. <laughs> I'm going to move on to clothing and I'm going to start with the thing that I actually tried on when I went into M&S the other day. So this is £30 and it's this little blue mini dress and it's got a little ruffle at the bottom and a tiny ruffle on the sleeve but I picked this up in a size 6 because I tried on a size 8 and it was just quite big. This looks quite big as well, this is no way a size 6. So I'm going to try it on again but I just love the print and the bright blue, I just thought it would be really easy to style up. Um, and it's not too short either so you're not like, it's a bit short. So this is what it looks like on. The only problem with the six is that it kind of, it's just not really t tight enough at the waist. Um, it's a very square cut, like it's, it's fitted around my hips, but everywhere else it's kind of not. It is a really nice dress and just quite a classic fit. I just thought it'd be really easy for spring days with black tights if it's chilly or no tights if it's not, and then a nice like black coat would look cute with this. The tiniest bit of gathering in the sleeves, but pretty much can't see it. Then just as I was leaving, I saw this cardigan, which is in the Peruna, Peruna range. <laughs> I always think it sounds like Parana, but it's not. Um, and this was quite expensive. This was £45, but it's in this really gorgeous speckled, like, dusky dark rose colour and it's got a tie at the waist which I thought would be really really flattering and I just instantly thought about wearing this with flared jeans so I picked this up in a small um, 
and I'll try this on, see how that looks. This is the cardigan. I don't have anything underneath it right now, just so that it, I don't know, I'm not, not really sure how I'd wear this. Probably with like a shirt or something underneath, or like a pretty pink top. And I mean, it looks really nice, but I don't know if I'm gonna keep this. But I do think styled up right, this would look really, really nice. Um, and I do love the colour with my hair. I think it really sort of complements red hair. And I think anyone can pull off this colour, to be honest. It's quite an easy colour to go with. I then ordered another cardigan, um, because this looked really cute online. I hadn't seen it in real life. Um, I ordered it in two different sizes, because it didn't have many left in stock. So I've got a large and an extra small, and there's quite a difference between the large and the extra small. Uh, I think I prefer the large um, for a cardigan like this, but it's super chunky and um, yeah, just quite a classic cardigan. This is $29.50, um, so I'll try this one on. I'll try both sizes on so you guys can see what they look like on me, but this is the extra small and it's pretty ditty, um, but we shall see. So the extra small cardigan looks pretty stupid <laughs> look where it comes on my arms um and it was very tight to get on i feel like a cardigan this style just shouldn't fit like this it looks so much better in large it's kind of a shame how the back is just sort of a plain knit um it would have been nice if it was continued a bit on the back but not many companies do that because that would be an extra cost <laughs> But yeah, I do love cardigans like this. They're just so sort of classic looking and they look really cozy and cute. So I do really love the way this looks. It's got nice sleeves. It would have been nice if the sleeves were a bit baggier actually. Um, but I guess it would keep you a bit warmer. There's no pockets. Um, but yeah. I think it's really cute. And the last few items are all from their sportswear. So I picked up um, two of their shorts because I thought they might be good for summer for when I want to wear my bicycle shorts style um, but kind of have it in a sporty look um, and I just I don't know I thought with the sporty fabrics it might they might be more comfy because um, the ones I have at the moment are jersey and I kind of always want something that covers over my bum because they're not the most flattering in that area <laughs> yeah I picked them up in a black and they also have a little zip pocket at the back, which is quite handy. And I picked them up in navy too, um, in case the black was just too harsh on my pale, pale skin. So yeah, I'm really hoping these fit because I got quite excited about them. These are the blue tights on. They're a really nice fit. I'm just not sure about the blue color on me. I kind of feel like it's very school uniform. I'm not 100% sure that they're gonna be camel toe free. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest they don't look like they're made to be that safe in that area which is a shame but they're a nice height they're really high-waisted they actually go over my belly button which is always great and then this is the black pair obviously they probably don't <laughs> look very different to you guys I definitely prefer the black pair I think they also have this adjustable toggle thing inside which you can pull which is quite good but then you're left with a long string inside so yeah not overly impressed with these but they are nice so I picked up this pink long sleeve top which now it's here I'm not sure I'm gonna love because the neckline is quite low um, but I picked this up in a size 6 so that it was nice and tight because again don't think M&S stuff is very fitted in general this is the pink sports top. I think it's just because I'm so pale I worry about low necklines and my chest's always so pale. <laughs> but it is a nice colour and it has one of these snazzy hand grip things which I love. And then the final item I have is another pair of leggings but this, these ones are 7 8 length leggings which I've never tried before but I've always been curious about because I quite like the idea of a legging stopping before my ankle and it doesn't have that roll 
the fabric just sitting at your ankle. So I'm gonna try this out. It's got very useless pockets here that literally would not fit anything. So yeah, I'll try this on. I've never actually tried any M&S sportswear stuff before, so I don't know if it's any good. Um, let me know if you guys have tried M&S sportswear um, and if you think it's any good. The black 7 8 leggings. I actually really love this length. I think it's really flattering. <laughs> and in general, they're actually a really good fit. I'm very into this 7 8 length. <laughs> In these leggings. So there we go, that's the end of my M&S haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'm very interested to see how many of you actually shop in M&S because I know it's got this kind of like stigma around it of being quite an old people's shop but I don't think it is at all. I think they have some really great stuff in there um, so if you haven't been in in ages it's just nice to just walk around and it's just such a chill environment anyway to shop in. So yeah I really hope you guys are having a great day and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!